Well, good Monday morning, everybody. Uh, it's Phil King, and I'm here for the Telegraph with our favorite meteorologist, Al Caprillion. And boy, I'll tell you, Al, pretty hot and steamy weekend. Boy, it was uncomfortable sleeping. It was uncomfortable mowing the lawn. It was uncomfortable doing just about everything. Tell us if that's going to continue this week. What can we look forward to? Well, Phil, we're going to be less hot this week, but the humidity, I'm afraid, is going to continue, if not all, much of the week. And we're not going to get rid of the humidity. In fact, we have an upper-level uh, disturbance and a surface trough that's going to move through today and tonight and, and ignite more rain. In fact, in fact, the National Weather Service has issued a flash flood watch from 11 this morning till midnight tonight for our region. So, again, some of the rain developing, especially this afternoon, showers and storms developing will be heavy some of the storms even have some small hail and gusty winds and heavy rains. Highs today in the middle 80s, not the 90s we've had in recent because of the cloud cover. There may be some intervals of sun. It won't be, it won't be completely cloudy, but again, it will not be quite as sunny as recent days. That's the way it looks at this time. Still very humid. Showers and storms this evening filling everyone. Some of the storms this evening could have some gusty winds, small hail, heavy rain. Lows tonight will be in the middle to upper 60s. Still very humid. Areas of fog overnight. Tomorrow, mostly cloudy, will be in the range of 80 to 85 degrees. Still the risk of showers and thunderstorms. Some of the storms could still have some heavy rain tomorrow. And on Wednesday, some sun, chance of a few scattered showers and storms. Temperatures in the low to middle 80s. And it looks like we'll have a risk of showers and storms Thursday as well and possibly even Friday. So much of this week looks like it'll be unsettled. It won't rain every minute of the time. And we'll see about the weekend on Friday. We start, we're starting to get that trough again forming in the eastern part of the country. So that could mean a southerly flow of air aloft. And that could mean some wet weather possibly into the weekend. But we'll talk more about that Friday morning. The Bermuda high pressure is settling south, Phil. But again, it may not be this week or this weekend. But uh, possibly next week it may start expanding towards New England again, bringing the heat back, the hot temperatures. But... That won't be this week into this week, and we'll talk more about that on future updates. Okay, so uh, I guess a so-so week, not uh, too hot, uh, not too dry. But still, uh, still fairly <laughs> muggy and wet, so we have that flood watch, flash flood watch. It'll start 11 this morning through midnight tonight, so for the evening commute, if you're working today and you're heading home this evening, so there could be some heavy rain. Just take it slow on the roads. Okay, thanks a lot, Al. You have yourself a great week, and uh, we'll talk to you on Friday. Have a great week, Phil and everyone.